what is going on guys today we are going to go over the very top accessories that you need to get out on the water on a paddleboard so to give you some insight when i go paddleboarding to me it needs to be lightweight portable and quick so that means that i'm not carrying all the extra gear i don't have two cameras i don't have 10 rods and a bait tank and cooler and all that this is just for when you want to get out on the paddleboard you know this is after work or the all-day lightweight mission these are the accessories you need to get out there so the very first one is this guy this is an arctic side pack it is what i have found to be the best all-around tackle and gear bag for my sup so first things first it's got these velcro tabs on the back those allow me to velcro this down onto the bungees on my board and hold this pack easily all day i don't have to carry it on my back i don't have to carry it on my waist it's out of the way it's small and it, this is really the perfect size for everything for this bag i'm going to leave a link in the description so you can go check it out arctic may be sold out on these if they still have them uh grab one as quick as you can if not and if they're sold out, then I will leave a link to the Yeti product. The Yeti product is super, super similar. It costs maybe a few dollars more, looks just as good, works just as good. So let's go over this one. So first things first, it's got this big, heavy duty waterproof zipper. So this doubles as a dry bag. I wanna keep all my gear as dry as possible. So inside, I'll carry, right now I've just got one bag of baits, but generally I carry two or three bags of some soft plastics, maybe a little baggie of uh, hard baits as well. Second, I've got a nice tool, a little tackle box. It's got my hooks, my weights, a pair of nail clippers, stuff like that for everyday use. And then you've got your spool of leader line. I always fish braid, so I'm always got a little spool of leader line. It all fits inside really, really well. It's easy to get in and out of this check right there you can see fits everything inside really well it's a little bit hard to zip open and closed but that's due to that waterproof zipper so that's really okay because you really do want that waterproof zipper coming on to the front side we have a second pocket this one is not waterproof but it, I found it's pretty water resistant it's made out of the same material as a whole bag the only difference is the zipper is a regular style zipper inside of here what I like to carry is like, I've got maybe one or two little chewy bars for snacks along my paddle. I've got a small jar of scent. I carry a Ziploc baggie and this generally has two or three GoPro batteries and an extra SD card. I keep it in the Ziploc just in case any water does get in here. It keeps my essential things like that dry. I carry a small bottle of uh, super glue. This is for my Z-Man swim baits to keep them on the swim bait head. I use a little dot of super glue and it really holds the bait on there real nicely. It also doubles if I ever get cut by a fish real bad, I can put a little super glue on that. Keeps you from bleeding all over the place. It's a two for one special right there. I dig it. I carry a whistle inside the inside of here. Um, I believe this is required on the paddle board when I'm out fishing, so I've got it in there just for precaution. And then I carry a fishing license. Some of you guys, I don't believe your states require a fishing license, so you wouldn't have to carry this, but it, this takes up no room. And you can see, let me put all this stuff back in here and I'll show you, it fits in there very well. It's got plenty of room for that. You can see right there, there's all the gear inside. Zips up real, real easily. If I just maybe don't zip my stuff up in there, that's fine. And then coming to the front, we have these two bungee pockets. I really don't store anything except my pliers in here. This is the perfect spot to hold my pliers while I'm transporting the board from my car to the water and or when I'm just uh, storing my bag at home, it keeps my pliers in a well-organized spot. When I'm out on the paddle board, I really try to either keep these in my pocket. If I do keep them here, you've got this flap right here. It works out great to really cover them up, to hold them in place. So you just kind of close that flap with a buckle, cinch it down, and it really does hold the pliers in very well. I've never had any problems. It works perfect couple extras on this is there's a d-ring on the side on the top and on this side I use the d-ring for one item I carry a small uh, metal fish stringer and that's really just when I get a big fish 
I'll put the fish on a stringer so that way the fish can stay in the water while I'm trying to move my camera and my gear around to try to get that right picture or shot because I only carry one camera with me so trying to hold a fish, move the camera around, it just would take too much. So I'm able to put that fish into the water on the side, keep it safe, keep all my gear safe and stowed while I make those movements and changes. So the next thing we want to go over is this guy. This is my number two most essential product and I recommend anybody that wants to go paddleboard fishing get one of these. This is a 10 foot shallow water anchor. It's broken down into two poles for easier um, transportation because that's huge. My car can't fit a 10 foot pole inside of it. I don't want to try to strap this to the roof so getting one that breaks down into two pieces is crucial. This is such a good piece of gear because when you're standing on a paddleboard you act like a sail and what happens is that you will start to drift across the bay so quickly that you can't even fish spots so with this I'm able to push it into the sand and hook up a surf bungee style leash to it and it holds my board in place and it really allows me to fish all the area that I want without drifting away and that is really really nice it also doubles as a drift sock so the where my that uh, sorry where the bungee leash connects to the board there's a little piece of string it makes a loop and you're able to push this through that and drag this 10 foot pole behind your board if you start drifting too fast and the water's too deep to anchor in and that really slows me down it's really really helpful um, following this video i will actually have another video on how to fully set up all this gear on the paddleboard so you'll be able to see that loop I'm talking about and the style of leash that I'm using that is really really key so make sure you tune into that video to watch because some of those insights are going to be really important. Next I carry a separate very small dry bag so this is essential for my phone and my keys only that's all it fits in here and that's all I use it for. Uh, this is essential because what I found is that when I was using just this and I had my phone and my keys inside of here, I would go in to try to pull maybe a battery or scent out and I started realizing that I almost knocked my keys out one day, um, which I really did not want to do. So I picked up the separate dry bag. I could put my phone and keys in this, roll it up really small, and then just buckle it onto a bungee on the back of the board somewhere. And it's out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. I know it's gonna stay there. I know that it's gonna keep my gear dry so that's really what I need it for even on days where I'm not out fishing I carry this with me so that way I can put my keys and my cell phone in it so it's really essential piece of gear make sure you get one that is a small dry bag so you don't want to be carrying around a massive one that's this, this big and it really just kind of defeats the purpose of being uh, you know lightweight portable all of that that you want to be on a paddleboard next is a very important piece of gear and this sounds ridiculous but it's a pair of shoes these are actually water shoes they are made by Sperry they're called the Sperry 7 C's so I don't know if you'll be able to see this but right here right there and right here there are holes and what that allows these shoes to do is drain water so they are made to take water on you can see inside it's got that blue EVA foam pad for your sole um, these are key they allow me to stand on this board all day because without these that small pad on the board my knees would start hurting my feet my back so these make a world of difference as i said these ones are made by sperry you can also get some by columbia adidas um, and i believe there's another company as well so there's multiple options out there for different shoes different styles but just make sure that they're a water shoe so they're made to be on the board all day they are fantastic. You'll see me wearing these in every single video I've got. They are essential for me to be out there on the water for hours at end. Lastly, and this only applies if you're out trying to film or if you're really just trying to capture those moments while you're out paddle boarding, this is a Ram mount suction cup uh, GoPro holder. So you want to make sure you get one that has about an 18 to 20 in it. 20 inch extension you don't want to just have the suction cup with your GoPro right here that would be too low and it'll be looking up at you the whole time and you'd end up getting sunlight glare into your camera all day which is not what you want 
The other option is to wear a chest mount all day, but I found this is the best option because it really allows the viewer to see the whole field of view. So you can see me casting, you can see me bring the fish in, release it, all of that. And this mount is super strong. I don't know if it'll stick to the table, but yeah, well, it won't. There's spray paint and stuff down here, but this mount is super, super strong. Make sure you do not get a knockoff. I tried fishing a knockoff one, a non-RAM mount product, and my GoPro ended up falling off the back of my board and sinking because I didn't have a foam pad like this on there. Um, I ended up having to go swim in the bay. That really stunk. I don't want to do it again. I don't want you guys to have to go do it, so it's totally worth the maybe $60, I think was what this whole system cost right here, and that included the suction cup mount, the attachment, the 18-inch extension, and the other top attachment. So it's really worth it. It is a amazing piece of equipment. I recommend anybody that wants to film get this set up. So in conclusion, these are my top, top accessories. And again, this is if you wanna have a paddleboard set up that is light, maneuverable. You know, if you get off work, you can easily throw all this in your car real quick. You can run out there and get on the water really quickly. And that's what you want. If you wanted to start bringing extra cameras, extra rods and all that, I would really suggest maybe getting a kayak because at that point you're not going to be able to carry it. It's going to be heavy to load. It's going to take you a long time to put all that stuff together. So that's not really what you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching, learning about the top accessories for your paddleboard to get out there and fish. Stay tuned for the next video. I will show you guys how to set this all up on the paddleboard so you can get out there fishing. Thanks again for watching. Catch you guys later. See y'all in the water.